Hey guys, it's Dana, and today I'm going to show you how to make a white Christmas bark with pistachio, apricot, and cherry. This is festive, delicious, easy to find ingredients, and it takes just about 40 minutes, about five minutes of work and 35 minutes in the refrigerator. So let's go. You can grab the full recipe, details, step-by-step -step photos on my website, danavento.com. Hey, make sure you give me a like or a thumbs up or whatever, wherever you're watching this, just let me know you like the recipe and what you might add into it to make it even more festive. All right, here we go. All right, I am about to show you how to make an extremely festive looking bark with green, white, and red, and a little bit of orange too. This is easy and delicious, and it's a great bark to make. Wrap it up as a gift when you're done making it or just snack on it, it's lovely and you can add more or less eliminate ingredients or change them. So we're going to use melting white wafers. We'll use two cups of those. I won't be adding anything to them because you have to add special oils to this in order for it to mix and blend. Otherwise you will ruin it and do not add water. We'll be using some dried apricots. Again, those are optional. They will be chopped into tiny little pieces. You don't want big chunks in the bark so you don't gag. And I have pistachios. These are your green. While they may not look it, they really look pretty against the bark. And dried cherries. This is your recipe, fast, easy, delicious. Gift it, eat it, enjoy it, and there's nothing to the recipe. If you've seen my other recipe for making bark, you know that underneath the pan, I've actually sprayed it with a nonstick spray, and then I placed parchment paper down. You don't have to worry about spraying the parchment paper. It is nonstick itself, and we're just going to get right to it and we'll cook these down in the microwave. It's fast, and then I'll show you what we do from there. One. Oh, they did not come out. Two. Now we'll melt that in the microwave. Here I have the cherries. I cut each of the apricots into tiny little pieces and these are the pistachios. I'm just drizzling it. You can make this as thin or as thick as you want too. So you could use a smaller pan if you wanna keep this thicker. I prefer this thin, just thin enough to hold on to the contents that we're about to place on top. And you just smear this, just like this. You can see how much there is. And some people like thin and thicker pieces in their bark, so you can make this at all different levels. Just don't thin it out too much. And um, I prefer my lines all going the same way, but that's just me. And then correct all of this so the lines are all matching. And to me, that looks pretty good. So what we wanna do is work with this while it's warm we have to get those toppings on and you do have time, so don't worry, because you're going to let this set for about 30 minutes in the refrigerator. Now, you can put on as many or as little, as few as you prefer when it comes to the pistachios. Um, I like digging into this particular bark with a nice hearty crunch. Um, it's very satisfying. These are salted pistachios. I got these at Sam's Club. I've gotten them at Aldi before. It's really up to you. Now, before you go gung-ho with too many of those, you wanna make sure that you have room for your cherry, which gives it the other color whenever you break this whole bark up. Isn't this pretty? And it's really good. Now, I'm just going to add some pops of the color with the apricot, apricot, whatever you want to call it, just to make sure that it actually hits the chocolate and not another one of the ingredients or will not set in. And then I'm going to make one other um, suggestion. My hands are washed. I cannot tell you enough. I am food certified. Glad to post that for you. I keep a clean kitchen and this is for my family, but you know, you can use gloves if you want. It will be a little more difficult to make this, but definitely press these items into the chocolate. If they're setting on top, you're not gonna get them in there. Now, completely optional step. 
sea salt is really good, I'm adding just a drizzle, okay? That's all I did was add a drizzle of sea salt. So here you have it. This is your, it's sea salt on the top, optional. Apricot, pistachio, and dried cherries using Giardelli, making it into a bark. You could use the whole bag. This really filled up a large pan anyway, so um, I, I, I don't know how much more you need, but you can double this, make a secondary tray, and we are going to now just let this sit so that it cools um, between 25 and 35 minutes into the refrigerator. Once it comes out, we'll break it into pieces and put it on a serving tray or put it in a gift box. That's it. I hope you like this. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you like the recipe. Check out my website if you want more details on this because the full recipe is on my website. And there you have it. Have a great holiday and a great winter. Enjoy this little bit of sweetness from my house to yours.